Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Lee Doctor, we are playing the Legendary Victor because that thing just got changed in the last patch and I'm actually quite excited about this thing. Now as you can see we have a massive array of lasers on the right arm, so this is basically Captain Laser Fist. And uh, before the patch we can only run uh, a 10 stack of medium or ER medium lasers. Now it's the whole medium laser family, which also includes medium pulse lasers and also medium X pulse lasers. And for all of you guys who just really want to throw themselves at an enemy and just cut them open, this is the build for you. We have 10 of these medium X pulse lasers on the right arm. It is protected by a lot of armor, but make sure that you will never ever lose that. Don't lose the side torso because then the arm also falls off. Don't lose the arm because then you will be literally disarmed. It's very important. So if you have to twist, twist with your left side and shield with it so that you can absorb the damage to that. Now we would only deal 15 damage alpha strike which doesn't seem like a lot but these lasers fire so damn fast that you will deal like 100 damage in no time. Like in literally no time. But that's the end of it. This is where we're gonna reach our heat threshold because this mech is extremely spicy, it's extremely toasty. So you can fire about 8 alpha strikes before you have to cool down again but if you get into your optimal position, get into about 320 meters range, shoot the enemies a bunch of times, uh, cut them open, they will be so intimidated that they will fall back. So either they are dead, either they lost a component, or you just shredded their armor completely. So this is like a full go in, deliver the damage, then get back, cool down, rinse and repeat mech. Um, we got two jump jets here for a little bit of vertical mobility and I'm running a light engine 325 and my idea behind the mech was because we have such a low range on the lasers and they are our only and main weapon I want mobility and extra range so that I can uh, juggle the distance between me and my enemy a little bit better. So 325 gives us about 66 kph that's really good and I took everything that helped me with um, extra beam range. For example the targeting computer here. I mean we had a ton open I could have added another jump Jet. Another heatsink wasn't possible because we didn't have another three slots anywhere. But the targeting computer helps you because it gives you a 4% beam range bonus. Let's talk about the skills here before I'm gonna give you a little bit of an alternative of the build. Um, first of all, I'm gonna go for max cooldown, max heat gen, maximum range, as I was saying, and laser duration. So this is our whole DPS uh, offensive tree. I wouldn't even call it a tree, it's just a bunch of lines. But anyways, I need all of this in order to perform with the lasers. What I also want is maximum armor hardening and I had, it to, I had to, to tune back some of these points because I had another priority that I wanted. So no maximum skeletal density here, but we still have some of it. I wanted, obviously, cool run and heat containment because cooling is everything on the mech. But more than that, I need seismic sensor. I need to know what's going on around me on the front line. If I'm behind cover, I need to know if there's only one enemy or if that's four, if that's only one, I can confidently go for him. If that's more, mm, we gotta be a bit more careful. So knowing is good. We also got a bit of radar deprivation to pull back to cover and break locks. And sadly, I really wanted to go for double cool shots, but... There are no points anymore. All of the other things are worth more to me than another cool shot. Uh, so I went for them. I'd say, if anything, I would probably do this and have another point maybe here in cooldown uh, reduction so that I have one point of radar deprivation available and maybe double cool shot. So this is the, I would say, the easiest way to get some extras, but it is what it is. For an alternative build, you could do something, and I kid you not, like this here. This is a standard heatsink variant of the build. We have a total of... Actually, we could probably drop this to get another heatsink. Actually, give me a sec. Um, standard heatsink. We have a total of 31 single heatsinks instead of... Uh, what did we have there? 20? 18? 16? I'm gonna take a look at that. Uh, but anyway, we have a higher heat threshold. That means that we can, with this setup, um, shoot about... 10 times with these, maybe even an 11th time. So we have two more alpha strikes that can we can drop on the enemy, but we would have a longer cooldown period. So our heat threshold is higher, our dissipation is a little bit lower. If you really want to crank that thing to 11, drop endosteel, I kid you not, go for light pharaoh, get an XL engine in here and get even more heat sinks by also dropping the arm armor. This would be the absolute pinnacle of I want this mech to be cold. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. It is possible if you really want to think about your offense more than your defense, but it's an XL on a Victor, so eh, it's very debatable. I would say 
This is a great idea here. We have 21 doubles. I think it's better than the 31 singles because it has more dissipation, but you can choose for yourself. Guys, oh, that was a lot for the intro, right? That is the build, guys. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games. If you have fun, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, guys. First game of the day. We are playing the Grimplexes. We are playing Domination, which is actually good for us because it kind of forces everybody close. And we are a close-range build. So let's see. What is our Alpha Strike pattern going to be? We need to count to eight. So here we go. One, two, three, four five six seven eight one more and we would generate internal damage because i have override on we can do eight and a half that's possible so i have set up my groups for half of them one half of them on the mouse button two and yeah that's the basic idea of the uh of the build pattern here of the fire pattern we can of course just use half of them generating very slow heat but also very slow damage and um yeah i also have like a super chain fire just to tickle the enemy to death if i see an open component that just needs a little bit of damage i hope that i remember <laughs> because heat is the biggest it's it's the end boss here heat is the end boss of this build and uh, of course if we lose the side torso we are basically completely crippled uh if it's the left side torso it's not the biggest of deals because we can still shoot but again then our heat threshold will be so low that's uh, basically nothing and if we get our right side torso shot off then obviously we have no weapons anymore so Hmm, it's gonna be interesting to see how this is gonna play here. So, gonna set up in the Fox 7 area. Uh, we got a Raven with us, that's great. Some ECM is very much appreciated. I don't really want to expose myself yet. They might... Nice. Uh, they might have snipers on the Golf 9 spot, and, you know, I cannot contest anybody unless it's in about 350 meters range. That's a Jenner 2C. Good to know, good to see. That's the big shield boy. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Big Shield Boy. I believe he wants to get close as well. And this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, they got some long ranges there. Alright, two hits on the Cicada. Pretty good. I guess he regretted that. I'll be probing the enemy's lines here. I mean, we also have an Atlas. So that's pretty cool. Let me go a little lower. Oh. I think I missed an opportunity. Ah, oh, and then the low mounts. It got me. Oh, damn it. We could have hit that guy. All right, so it's our UAV here. I want to quickly check if Cicada is doing a thing. Take that. And we have a bunch of enemies close by. Oh, Atlas, don't do it alone. No, what are you doing? No! Ah, buddy! Try to go for leg on the Cicada. Oh, boy. Did you not see what I saw on the UAV screen? There's a Kasai up there. There's a new Warhawk. We have another UAV up. Good reaction. Let's uh, let's leave that flank. It's very important that we're gonna go with the team cohesion. Our goal is to get close to our enemies. Patience is key here. The high or the low mounts are gonna prevent us from shooting there properly. Just a bit of damage on the dire wolf. Just wanted to say hello. Let's not overheat. Oh, there's a guy. Okay, got some damage on the Kasai. He's SRMs. I don't like SRMs. Not on me, at the very least. Okay, that was great. We took a bit of damage, but we also delivered some. It was a bit spready. Grasshopper is cored. Oh, strike coming down. I think I'm forced down here now. Okay, let me hold out. Wait out the strike, and then I think we're gonna go around the corner. Strike is done. Okay, here we go. Come on, give me, give me that Jenner. Okay, so that's great damage, but also on me. Here's the King Crab. Okay, so this is our fight now. Overheating. Overheating massively. Good, we got him. Um, this Grasshopper is very... It's an Enforcer, it's not a Grasshopper. But you know what? I can take damage for the team a little bit. Okay, let's go in then. If my team needs help... No, we're not. We're not doing that. Guys, there is a push happening. There is a push happening. Help! Somebody! Okay, I'm gonna take Cicada now. And I think then we're gonna... We're gonna go and dive down to cover. Because we were... Holy crap, where we outgunned on that flank. There was so much going on. There's a Jenner! Oh no! I thought it was behind on the hill. Yeah, we're gonna completely switch flanks. It's getting pushed back. Okay, so we wait. 
It's not gonna get pushed back completely. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. That was bad. So, yes, this is what I mean. Uh, what I was about to say, we are currently not shooting our weapons, which is not how we win the video game. All right, I'm gonna do it. Jenner down, very important kill. Yes, I know, we have to walk the gauntlet and probably eat some damage. Coming from whatever that is. Uh, can we get to cover in time? That is my question here. This is a Gauss Dire Wolf. We also got a Cataphract, which is half dead. All right, so Cat is definitely killable, but we need to get to the D-Wolf. Okay, let's go for the Fract. We got that thing. Oh, what is that? It is dead. That's what it is. And now we are about to lose the side also. Ooh, back armor. Can we use it? Are these guys completely on me? I don't know. Man, we made it so far. Holy crap -a -roni. So now our job is to get to the dire wolf, which is hopefully... I mean, hopefully he's dead. But if he is here, he's not aware, hopefully. All right, let's see. I'm cold. I'm ready to go. We are seven and six. There's the dire wolf. Too early. Way too early. Okay, we're gonna try to take the side also then. And we did. Okay, we got him. We got him, we got him, we got him, and I'm dead now! Because of the Raccaronis. Am I? I'm not yet. I'm not yet. Okay, still take cover. Um, these guys are bound to another fight, so that's pretty good. I need to close in. This is my only chance to deal some more damage. I need to get the backstab on the Enforcer somehow. Let's close in. 400 meters, good enough, I'd say. All right, we got this guy. That's enough. We got a cool... Uh, there's another assault mech, and he's fresh. It's the Lurm guy. But I think at this point, we have the numbers. I shouldn't be alive anymore, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. Not enough. Not enough, not enough, not enough. All right, let's get close. Yeah, he's probably gonna take me. Uh, he also has SRMs. I need help. I need help, I need help, I need help. Where is he going? Left or right? Guys, help me out. I want to survive this! Oh, he's coming! He's coming! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, friends, it's on you to finish it. Let's -a go! We dealt 700 damage. Not bad, man. Not bad. So, friends, we got an SRM LRM Dire Wolf here. I opened him up big time. Yeah, it's for you to finish him. I was impatient. I was in a bunch of situations. I was too impatient. I should have waited and aligned my shot a little bit better. But I might learn that in the next episode here, in the next game. Let's take a look here. We got, what, 686 damage done? Also, a lot of damage taken. That was really cool. And it actually happened what I predicted. We lost the site also, and our heat management was garbage after that. But we got four killing blows with seven assists. Holy crap. That was fun. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys. Second game of the day. We are playing the Grimplexers. We are playing Skirmish. Let's go ahead and murder ball. We wanna... Actually, I should have maybe gone to the left side, to the Golf 8 area. Would have been better, would have been faster. Uh, but some of our assault mix are, like, really slow. Okay, so this is gonna be an interesting one. I hope that my friends are not getting too aggressive, because our assault mix are really slow. Um, let's not disconnect from the assault mix too much. Uh, hold it in like Fox 8 or something. That would be I great. I am an assault man. Yeah, that's what I mean, man. I want to I wanna help out the Stone Rhino and make sure that he can um, can catch up to the team. That's all I wanted to say here. So, uh, yeah, we have our laser beams on the right arm, obviously. Uh, expect them in, to be in Hotel 7 soon. That's right. The enemies will come down the hotel line. So this is usually their back door towards like here, Gulf 7, Gulf 8. This like valley, that's what they are taking. So we need to be aware of them. Got a bunch of combat shields here on the battlefield. Really like that. Man, we need more mechs like that. Look at that. I mean, with the Onyx and the Red Reaper, you can actually build a phalanx. <laughs> This is really cool. Like, one, one has the shield on the left, one has the shield on the right, and then they twist in and cross shields and then get back and shoot. That's really nice. Okay, let's go. We wait. Let's go, we wait. True. That's what we do. 
Yeah, we're gonna hold up for a second here. Uh, something, something. There's lots of chatter here on the on the comms, which I like, but it's also very distracting for me. So a team that's stalking is usually a winning team. Thousand meters blackjack one, probably AC two's covering fire from the back. That's gonna be nasty. Uh, what about our stone rhino? Is he fine? I really, I really don't want to push out yet. I mean, there's nothing to win for me anyways. We have 300 meters range. We also completely moved into the sniper spot with our back. <clears throat> but there was nobody there. I mean, why would there be? Like, everybody is covering this area anyways. So it's fine. Alright, so the dragon is getting shot. Is our stone rhino just gonna set up there? Target spotted. So yeah, he's not moving anymore. That means he's probably fine in that position? Question mark? Dropped a UAV for I don't know what reason. Is he getting attacked? So many questions. So many of them. I think really my my game plan is gonna be wait for the mid game, then engage from the Fox 7 into Golf 7 area. Yeah, Blackjack is as predicted. Auto Cannon 2. Lots of PPCs. Where are you? I need to know. Can't. Mama King Crab is coming in. Like a blackjack and another medium. So I think the Stone Rhino has set up for just sniping, and the UAV is uh, protecting him from light mech backstabbers. Oh, a disconnect in a very unfortunate position. The Grand Dragon. Uh, I mean, he's fine. Maybe he comes back. Really feel like this is a non brawling scenario that we are in. That means we could force a brawl and overpower the enemies. Or we have to hold up. But you know what? I'm gonna go with the King Crab because I wanna have some fun. The Onyx is already on the front line as well. We got a Nova. Uh, Arctic Wolf SRM. Yeah, he wants some piece of the cake as well, I assume. Got a Piranha. Nice. Yeah, we have a nice little attack squad. But the thing is, we need to be aware that... Yeah, crap. We need to be aware that we lost two guys already. And we have one disconnect. Oh, there you are. There you are. Interesting. Um, yeah, I wanted to say we need to be aware that we only have half of the team here. Pop a UAV. I think we need it now. Okay, make sure that we don't waste heat. Legs on the Raven. Couldn't. Um, yeah. Okay, push the Stone Rhino. Let's get a kill. Come on. Right side is open. I really tried. I really tried. But my team was reacting a little bit too slow. The Kasai is very ripe for the taking. The problem is we are in the low ground and we are only reacting. Also, I wasted my cool shot. So let us move around then. Let us move around, try an angle. I think we can actually come back from this. We have a bunch of enemies which are half dead. And I still have a lot to work with. Nova is sadly attracting a lot of fire there. That's an assault mech right above us. Okay, bunch of hits there. That's a kill. Perfect. Great. And again, I wasted a bit of heat. But we can cool down. It's a two and three scenario. And we have something cooking now. Let's go. Uh, let's go in. There's the raven. I'm gonna take this angle. So if anybody's coming in again, I'm gonna try to kill it. I'll take the raven then. I'm not taking any ravens. Instead, I'm shutting down in front of my enemies like an idiot. <laughs> All right, we're safe-ish. How is the raven still alive, man? I should have maybe gone for legs, and that's not a maybe, that's a definitely. Okay, peek around. Do the nose. Okay, we got him. Pull back. There's a red reaper somewhere. Uh, he's coming around the center. All right, let's go for him then. Okay, we'll take the next spot. That's all I can do. I hope that he is intimidated enough to not come. God, he's almost dead. Okay, I believe my people can take him. Is this the Reaper? I think he is. All right, let's, let's go. Nice, we got him. It was a great trade. Somebody is closing in. I know, I know, I know. We're gonna try to outrun these guys. Missed my spot. Is the blackjack still alive? That would be a problem for me. Okay, here we go. Crap. 
Um, it's a 10 and 6 scenario, actually. Good. Come on! Why is he not dead? I think we actually turned it around. Now, that is pretty cool. So, I think the blackjack is still... Oh god, it's a freaking dire. No, it's a Kasai from earlier. So Santa Torso it is. There we go. We have a can opener here. Holy crap. But we need to get into our optimal range. We gotta manage the heat. And we barely survived. Holy macaroni. We got three killing blows out of that. With 615 damage done, 600 taken, and two killmost damage dealt. I'd say that's a win, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.